never heard of Amelia Wickstead who designed this dress, so who is she, what's she about? Um, Amelia Wickstead is a London designer, um, not particularly well known at the moment, but um, she is getting a reputation as being the darling of London, and I think that this endorsement by the Duchess will be really, really good for her brand. Um, this is a bespoke piece, and this is, you know, it's going to retail for quite a high price, and this is, was made specially for her, and I think in the latter months of her pregnancy, we definitely saw her wearing more bespoke handmade custom fit dresses. Okay. What about this one here? You mentioned that this is um, really top notch. Isn't this it? is Erdem. Erdem is very well known for beautiful floral prints. Um, and this is a, a gorgeous dress. I mean, it's, it's, I love how she's in the picture. She's digging she's in digging the garden, you know, in a dress that's 1,500 pounds. Um, but it's a really beautiful print. And it just shows how she will mix high street and high end and custom made and off the rack. Great. Now, that looks familiar. Yeah, this is a top shop one, and I think this is probably another little sellout number that as soon as she was pictured in it, everyone went out, wore it. She's got a little Zara jacket with it as well, so this is one of her total high street head to toe numbers. Superb. Now, rock coats. Now, this is her thing. If, I, if there was one piece of clothing that I would say that's Kate Middleton, it would be the princess coat. It's being dubbed the princess coat, I think, because of you know the fact that she's wearing it quite a lot and she's got that sort of tag of being a princessy kind of a character. So um, this is a mulberry one in the main picture. And this is mint green, which is one of the main colors for the season. Uh, really beautiful. Again, high retail price. And she's very cleverly used these frock coats, 60s style princess coats to cover her baby bump, but they're not, you know, they're not maternity wear. So these, these are just an example of things that you can buy yep. in the style of this. Where's this from again? This is mulberry. Oh, oh so that. <laughs> it's quite a pricey piece, yeah. What, over a grand maybe? Yeah, I think it would retail for around 2,000 roughly, yeah. So, but you can see there's a lot of high street options. Um, I believe she's worn the Zara jacket, very 60s, pink checks. Um, and I know she's a big fan of Hobbs as well. Um, and so you'll find these all over the high street at the moment, especially in pastel colors, because pastels are very in fashion in the summer. If we get a summer, they will be. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so Dawn, you know style inside out. So tell me about some of the pieces that you've seen Kate wear. She's wear, she's worn very different things, haven't she? Kind of almost um, high street and really high end stuff. Yeah, I mean, she's very well known for being a real supporter of high street brands. I mean, ever since she came into the public eye, we've seen her in Reese, Topshop, Whistles, you know, and I think she's still doing that now. It, it hasn't changed, but she does mix it up a bit more with designer brands and particularly custom made bespoke brands as well. Do you think then that um, her influence is, is going to be enduring? Because at the moment, she's wearing things that are obviously fitting her size because she's you know not far away from giving birth. Um, do you think the influence will have any impact on maternity clothes at all in the market? I don't think necessarily maternity specific. We certainly know she has a huge impact on the public and she really drives them to buy things. I mean, we've seen items, she wore a great plains dress, which, you know, is... It's not high up on you know, the top fashion brand list, and it was literally sold out within a couple of days, but it wasn't a maternity dress. It was just a plain dress that she wore while she was pregnant. I think that she's always had the ability to influence people, but I don't necessarily think retailers will um, pick up on it and do better maternity ranges. I think they'll just be more aware of uh, making a more comprehensive collection, and I definitely haven't seen her wear anything that's been very specific to maternity wear. I think that she actually wants people to relate to her. I think she wants people to think she's just a regular girl. And wearing things twice is, you know, most people have to. I mean, we can't all afford to have a whole massive, huge wardrobe that we just keep on wearing one piece from. And I think she, I don't even think she's the kind of person that's vain about it. I don't think she sits there and thinks, I've worn this before, can I wear it again? I think she just thinks there's a coat, I'm gonna put it on, I've worn it before. What sort of mum do you think she's gonna be? Um, I think if her, if we were to relate it to style and how she acts normally, I'd say that she'll just be a very normal, regular mom. Of course, in the press at the moment, the big story is that she's moving into her mom's house when she has the baby because she wants to do something that most young moms would do, you know, and that's totally breaking all protocols. So I really think that that's going to be a sign of how she doesn't feel the need to be any different.